Where's Ed? He went down to the gift shop to buy a shirt. I told him I'd stay up here just in case he woke up. You must have better things to do. I send my laundry out. I'm not married. No. Waiting for the perfect guy. Let me guess. You've already found him. He threw my towels out the window. <laughs> That's how we met. Freshman year, Ed came to a party that my roommate and I threw. He spent most of the night on the bathroom floor. He figured that I wouldn't notice the vomit on the towels if I didn't have any towels. I'm assuming he came back the next day to apologize. No way. I had to track him down. <sighs> Conflict resolution has never been one of Ed's strong points. Nobody's perfect, right? I guess. Oh, my neck hurts. You've been in this bed for a really long time. I'm gonna do the same test we did last night, okay? Do you know what day it is? My arm is just... It's probably a mild skin irritation. I'll get you some hydrocortisone in a minute. Do you know what day it is? Tuesday, it really itches. How about I get you that cream right now? We had to sedate You gave sedatives to a patient who's already sleeping 18 hours a day. It was better than letting her scratch all the skin off for hours. Where's Wilson? Creepy crawlies are consistent with perineal plastic syndrome. Onset immediately after IVIG isn't. There is a simple explanation. Maybe she really has bugs under her skin. Infection? That's what a worsening of symptoms after immunotherapy would suggest. Blood cultures in the timeline rule out most bacteria. The patient throws up on your shoes. Do you clean up most of it? The symptoms rule out the rest. Serology rules out viruses, CSF smears rule out parasites. In the final stage of African trypanosomiasis, almost all the parasites are inside the brain. It's possible they wouldn't show on smears. But it's not possible for a patient who's never been to Africa to have African sleeping sickness. I'm just saying it fits the symptoms. She could have got it from a transfusion. Or I'm just saying she could have got it from a transfusion. Which she never had. Okay. What about toxins? No. The kitchen she works in is cleaner than some hospitals. But they do serve rabbit. Rabbit fever fits her symptoms. Jula Ramier initially presents with a rash or ulcer near the infection site. Not if she inhaled it. Chopping the meat with the cleaver could easily aerosolize the bacteria. No, then she'd have respiratory symptoms. Maybe she ignored it, figured she had a cold. They rejected Lyme disease because the couple would have noticed a rash, but a wet hacking cough is just gonna slip right by. It's either that or she missed her exit on the turnpike and wound up in Africa. Okay, two lousy ideas. Unfularly, they're better than all the other ideas. Tularemia. Bizarre. Very nice. That's why I ride you. Did he just turn on the TV? He needs to think. 